How's it going, YouTube? Oxy here, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. The day's finally come. I'm here to review Prey, the Predator prequel, Predator 5. It's all of those things. <laughs> and yeah, so I will have some spoilers, nothing crazy, um, you know, just little points. But look, go see it. Um, if you want the short of it, go see it. It's awesome. I love it. It's definitely up there. Um, people are saying it's the second best. It's hard to argue. I really liked it. But yeah, the movie came out yesterday, August 5th, you know, on Hulu here in the States. And I think it was like Disney Plus and like Europe. But yeah, it's out. And man, Disney, they really fumbled it. Like this could have been a theater release. It probably would have done really well. But yeah, I really liked it. It was awesome. The Feral Predator, just fantastic. Honestly, it might be my favorite Predator in a movie. And I know it's like, oh, like everyone loves the Jungle Hunter. Don't get me wrong, he's cool. But, he, you know, he just kind of picks them off one by one. I love I love the City Hunter. You know, I love Predator too. But, nah, I, I got to say, like, the Feral Predator, man, like he was awesome. Like, I think many of you would agree if you've seen it. The bear scene, I was just like, oh, shit. Like, when they just started fighting. And, like, I, I just loved it. I love that um, the Predator wasn't, uh, like, unbeatable, if that makes sense. You know, he was, like, the bear did, like, hurt him. Like, this Predator got hurt. Again, it was its first time on Earth. So, it makes sense being inexperienced. But, yeah, that scene, that whole scene there where they're duking it out. The bear, you know, injures him. You think, oh, he got him. And then he, like, the predator gets up. And char the bear charges. Left hooks and just kills him. I was like, oh, man. And, look, I got to say, in Naru, you know, uh, uh, the actress, her first name escapes me. But Mid Thunder, right, her last name. Fantastic job. Honestly, you know, great protagonist. And just genuinely hats off to... You know, Dan, the director, and, like, everyone there, like, they, you guys did an awesome job. It's really cool, of course, because this movie having all the Native American, uh, you know, like, representation. The Comanche tribe. You can watch the film in Comanche, like, the, of course, uh, with subtitles. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I watched it just as, like, you know, English speaking, right, just so I could, like, understand it. But I'm definitely going to go back and watch it in Comanche. And it's really cool. Honestly, because I do believe there was even a thing that said this was the first film that had like a mainly Native American cast. Or like all, well not all, because there was like the Colonials, like the French Hunters. And oh man, as a Predator fan, like if you're, you know, you're into the lore and that sort of thing. Awesome movie, great fan service, like a lot of thing with movies now is you know they'll pull the nostalgic you know trigger and they'll do references right like famous lines that sort of thing uh like for example in the predator the 2018 shane black movie uh they mentioned get to the choppers and reference some motorcycles but that's really forced you know it's like uh, it's, it doesn't go well in this film, uh, our character Naru's brother Tap, he'll, he says, like, if it bleeds, you know, we can kill it. But the way it's brought up in conversation is, like, so natural. Like, it's like, uh, I, you know, when he said it, it clicked. I was like, oh, that's what Dutch said, Arnold, in the first movie. But just the way it was, like, set up was, like, perfect. And I really liked it. Like, it's genuinely, it was good fan service and yes i was right so you know uh 20th century disney you know uh, <laughs> i'll expect my check in my mail we did get the origins i guess the retconning if you will of that pistol from predator 2 we know where it came from you know with uh rafael aldolini aldo dolini um because in the comic book 1718 right uh it was he was a pirate in this movie he's like a i don't know he he's with the hunters but he like can speak a lot of languages um i mean it is that time period but we saw him it, like he he like naru gets captured 
And he's translating, you know, being like, look, help us. What is that creature? We're trying to get it too. And of course, all hell breaks loose, right? The predator picks them off one by one. And at the end, he, uh, because she's a healer, right? She helps him and then he gives her the pistol and shows her how to shoot it. And the, yeah, that was awesome. Like when you see the engraving, it's like, oh, they actually did it. So again, huge shout out to Dan. Like, honestly, like you could tell they're fans. Like um, the franchise was in good hands with this movie. It's really awesome. I really liked it. Like, look, it's got great action. It's, uh, you know, about a, I think total it's an hour 40, but of course that includes credits. So talking about 90 minutes, so. The movie doesn't overstay its welcome, which is, hey, thank you, you know. Nowadays, movies are just way, you know, too long. And it's like, you run the risk of, like, if you don't have great a great script, like, um, it doesn't keep you, right, your attention. So, uh, they did good, you know. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of quiet moments, right, like the prayer stalking and that. But I really liked it. And, uh, I, one thing I have to commend them, though, is that Naru was not... Um, like, so nowadays, right, you know, there's the whole, oh, woke, and that sort of thing. This wasn't that. I, I know there were some people hating on that. They're like, oh, Naru is like, you know, Mary Sue, and that sort of thing. Not at all. This is, she spends most of the movie, like, in danger, or, like, she gets captured, you know, that sort of thing. The bear, like, was chasing her. But she overcomes, you know, like, she overcomes that, and... That's really awesome to see. Like, they definitely did a great job, like, portraying her as a badass, but, like, her earning her stripes, you know? Like, her going, going, uh, like, ha ha stepping up to the table, you know? Like, on her first hunt, they have the word, which I can't pronounce it, but it's, like, their, the journey you take, right? Like, for your first proper hunt. And her whole film is she's like, I want to hunt because you guys don't think I can. And she, of course, in the end, proves herself. She shows that, like, I am I did it. I'm capable. And she becomes a war chief at the end. Well-deserved, I mean, killing an alien. I mean, <laughs> but, yeah, the feral predator, Naru, seriously, everything about it, just awesome. Um, like, if you want to, like, really, like, be like, oh, you know what what is wrong with the movie you can say sure the bear like so the animals the cgi maybe isn't the best but then again this being a direct to streaming hulu movie i wasn't expecting it to have like an mcu budget you know i don't think anyone really should and of course they're not gonna have a real bear on set like <laughs> You know, but I get it. Uh, I know some people were complaining about that, like, oh, it could have been better. And it's like, uh, sure. I mean, it's not like, you know what I mean? It's like, I yeah, I guess. But I will say that definitely they they care about the franchise. And I got to say the Feral Predator is probably my favorite one. Like my favorite uh, Predator throughout the series. I really like it. And if I had to rank it, you know, like in the, like, I still think the first one is probably the best. Two is, like, my personal favorite. But I can't argue that one, like, just that reveal and everything, like, just amazing. But I, it is, like, I have, so, yeah, Predator 1, obviously, the best, like, S tier. I'd say Prey and Predator 2 are right there at A tier, like, but I'm leaning towards Prey actually being the second best movie. Crazy. But it's awesome, guys. Genuinely, really good film. I loved it. Um, I'm, you know, stream it. Uh, show 20th Century Studios and Disney that, you know, we like this. We support this. And hopefully we'll get a, a sequel because there is a little tease at the end with, like, the animated credits, right? Like, not the full. It's not like an end credit. You know how movies have, like, their, like, stylized credits, and then uh, they go to the black crawl, right? Like your traditional black and white credits. And the stylized ones, it kind of shows like cave paintings of Naru and like the journey. But at the end, when it, sh it shows her become like the chief, uh, we see that more predator ships come, like three. And so it's hinting at we may get more than one and we may see Naru again and that sort of thing. Maybe she dies. 
Um, I guess that's another thing too. The predator does die. So for those of you being like, yeah, why does it always have to die? You know, why can't we have one that wins? I feel you. I, I was hoping Pharaoh would live because admittedly he's awesome. I really love them. He's like brutal, but like, again, he's inexperienced on earth, but he, like how he's like testing all the creatures, like starting with like a snake up to the bear. And then finally Naru herself. Um, it's just really great to see. They, it's an awesome portrayal and seriously, uh, like just all around great film. Check it out. But yeah, guys, don't want to keep you long. It's a great film. I mean, I could go on and on about it, but watch it for yourself. And hey, let me know. Uh, hey, some people I've seen even hate it, don't like it. I respect that. I get it. You know, I really loved it. And I think the general consensus, it's a great film. If I had to rate it one through 10, I'm going to give it a 9.5. Really, what it sets out to do, a fresh start, you know, a simple take on the Predator. It, like, nailed it out of the park. I don't give it a 10 because no film is truly perfect. And, again, if you want to be that level of, like, nitpicky, yes, the animal CGI could be better. But I, I say 9.5 just if you're a fan of the lore, it's awesome. Like, it really, it's really good. Like, <laughs> Great fan service, but again, not forced, shoehorned in, very smooth, and Naru is a badass, you know, I hope to see more of her, of the actress, and hopefully we get a sequel. But that's the video, guys, hope you enjoy, um, I make new videos every Tuesday and Saturday, so if you like this type of content, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good jazz, and as always, everyone, I've been your host, Oxy. But I do have a pretty awesome video coming up, Predator-themed. I'm waiting for things to come. And I'll have a cool video coming up, hopefully by a week from today, next Saturday. So be on the lookout for that. But with that, guys, take care.